I teased this on my Instagram earlier in regards to a new series of videos I plan on doing. I am proud to present... <laughs> Yes, this fun series will focus on various stats in Gundam, and your benevolent and beautiful overlord will break it down for you. From the fight, to the character, to even the mobile suits, I will give my in-depth analysis. I hope you enjoy this series, and if you have any depth that you want to see next, feel free to comment below. Now then, where better to start than the beginning? The very first stats in the Gundam franchise, Amuro's first kills Jean and Denno. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who the hell cares about two grunts? Well, you never forget your first. Three, Three two, 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 one. one. <laughs> During a recon mission against the Federation, Shar as the bull, Zeon Ace an all-around asshole, sent his men to spy on Side 7. A new kind of mobile suit was supposedly there. Turns out they find the incomplete parts to a few gun tanks and gun cannons. Jean, a totally level-headed rookie and not brash at all, jumps into his Zaku and immediately disregards orders. He attacks the much weaker Federation ground troops and takes out some of the disassembled mobile suits. <laughs> After a brief run through of the instruction manual and some Frau Ro drama, <laughs> Amaro jumps into the Gundam. Jean, the totally level-headed rookie Xeon pilot, decides to fire at the gun and shockingly enough... <laughs> Jean suddenly gets a sense of balls because, Gaia forbid, he fights another mobile suit. After all, the Federation? Having mobile suits? Impossible. Until now... Why <laughs> mobile suits? Luna Titanium, son! At this point, Jean, the totally level-headed rookie Xeon pilot, is shitting his pants. He has never seen anything like this before. A Federation mobile suit. His Zaku and Ashiva doing no damage to it whatsoever. So Denim, remember that's this porky Xeon pilot, has no choice but to back up his level-headed rookie Xeon pilot with win. Jean. Now Jean has a choice here. Follow orders, retreat, and regroup. Or take down that son of a Federation mobile suit. So what does Gene do? <laughs> yep, Gene is going to get a promotion. Maybe his own ship named after him. Perhaps even a custom Zaku. And then it happened. <laughs> So now Jean has had enough. He is hightailing it with Denim. Now had Jean just listened to Denim in the first place, he wouldn't be in this mess. You had one f***ing job. Take some pictures and leave. September 18th, 0079. Amaro's first kill comes at a cost. The Zaku's reactor was hit and caused a gigantic explosion. This explosion seemingly sent his father to his death. But that's a video for another time. Right now, let's go back to Denim. Now, for some reason, none of these Zaku's had heat axes, but then again, they weren't expecting to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Denim, brave enough to charge forward with not his shielded arm guarding, is struck in the cockpit. <laughs> Denim, a quirky chief petty officer of Xeon, dies on September 18th. 0079. Fear not, Denim. You have lived on in immortality. 
After all, Yosaku too has become a war trophy and artifact confidently displayed in the Industrial 7 17 years later. Congratulations, you made it to the end. The cringe is over. Unless you want more. Do it. Click those videos in the box. Do it. Do it.